All right. How's it going, y'all? So I am live, and I figured it'd be nice to do this on YouTube today, seeing as most of my, you know, peeps are on YouTube. Um, we are doing the Desafio Latum uh, Fairy Cup. And, um, oh, I, did I even, did I even, like, settings? I guess I didn't, um... I guess I didn't make a name for it. That's okay. So who knows what it says. Um, if it says something weird, I will edit it. Okay. So I should probably look more closely at, um, okay, now he gave me a new code, new code. We are facing somebody I know, actually, in this first round. Um, Jay Snores. It's the homie. 3-3, 4-4, 3-3. Yeah, so I know. I know this guy. I know this guy. Jay Snores. He's the homie. And we'll just have to see what happens. Um, his team is definitely kind of scary. There's no lying about that. Um, let's see. So he's got Xerneas, Amoongus, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu, and Choice Scarf Entei. The Entei will probably cause more problems than anything else, I'll be honest. Um, well, I mean, he has a Xerneas, so there's that. Um, it'll be scary, you know, but it's cool to face somebody that I know, I guess. So, GLHF to, um, Jay Snores. <laughs> to the boy Jay Snores. Let's the battle begin at Okay, okay, um, there's really a couple different ways that I can start, so it's kind of hard to say what I want to do. I kind of want to start, like, Groudon stack attacka. Yeah, I kind of want to start Groudon stack attacka. with Serena and Sableye with Serena and Incineroar um what's the benefit of bringing Sableye 
I mean, Sableye kind of just gets, like, destroyed by Xerneas, but... I mean, there's reasons, you know, I'm not gonna say there's not. Um, his team is, is pretty hard for me to deal with, actually. Mostly because of the, the Amoongus. I'm gonna say let's try bringing in Cinderor this time. Um, the one reason why I might want to bring, bring Sableye is to like just, you know, taunt the, taunt the Amoongus, but if he starts like Amoongus Xerneas, he starts Urshifu really, okay. Um, okay, I'm So, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. Um... I could go for a heat crash right away. That's definitely not, like, impossible. I could... Yeah, like... Heat crash and switch in three. I don't actually feel like I want to. Okay, you know, that doesn't do nothing, we'll be honest. Wow, he has a very fast um, Rillaboom. So we just learned something. Uh, we learned that I made the wrong move. <laughs> that was a very good play. Um, that was a very good play. Okay, so we'll 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 probably lose this first one just because of that. Honestly, um, I did not see that coming. Probably should have tried to see it coming, but I didn't. Who do I think is going to pose the biggest threat here? Oh wait, he has, um, right, that's dumb. Yeah, yeah, he's making this difficult. Um, I'm gonna just rock slide and pro to... So he makes the right play, he's, you know, he's making all the right plays, that's what you need to do, honestly. You gotta make all the right plays. Yeah, so I mean, he's literally just, just destroying me, like, that's, that's really all there is to say about it. Um... And I thought I built a good team. No, I, that, I lost pretty much on turn one, like, just, just not, not good at all.
just not good. Um, yeah. So that went really bad. Um, So, I mean, yeah, I made the wrong play. That's, that's my problem, you know? That's not his problem, it's my problem. <laughs> I made the wrong play. Me making the wrong play. <sighs> that was a terrible first game. I don't, I just, I just really don't see myself winning this, honestly. Because I can imagine him making the right play because that's, you know, it's probably what you do. If I had brought out Groudon there, I think I would be in a pretty good position, but I didn't. So that's you know, I'll have to deal with that. I'll have to deal with that. So, I mean, what? Like, I can try to read a protect. 
or I can just try to take out Urshifu, that's, you know, it's really either or. Um, we do know he has Choice Scarf, so whatever he locks himself into, he is indeed locked into. He withdraws Urshifu. Right, so this is going to be a painful match, honestly. There's just going to be loads and loads of just Intimidate Cycling. Does he make the right play? He does, which means Serena's gone. Entei is almost gone. So I think here I'm pretty safe to just click Prespa's Blades Rock Slide and just like hope it goes well, you know what I mean? Like, he can only fake out one of us. And I missed something. That would happen. Good. Maybe it's a good thing. We won't know until a couple minutes. Right. I mean, yeah, exactly. So I could go straight for just, you know, <laughs> that was a pretty uncomfortable amount of damage and he does use Moonblast. So yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty screwed. We do connect with Prespa's Blades. We get some Qual damage. But he's been preserving his Pokemon very well. So it's not like looking great, honestly. Like, we know he has Choice Scarf, we know we can't, we know we can't, um, I highly doubt that that Rock Slide actually does that much, or I mean that Fake Out does that much, but I mean like, you know, you, you probably try, like, let's be honest, you probably try. So, if, if Fake Out does this much... <laughs> so, you know, I mean, like, that's what I had to do, and I, and I did it, because it's what I had to do.
it's what you gotta do. Okay. So, I mean, we got him. We got him that time. The fake out did enough. <laughs> the fake out was enough. Don't say it wasn't. Um... What the battle be gonna do? I think the Insin stack a lead worked pretty well. Um, I actually wouldn't mind having Melodic here. It really just comes down to like who's gonna be my best for the back. Um, I think we can try that. I think the only worry is. I don't know, man. Like, I mean, the worry is clearly a Moongus. Because if I don't bring something to quickly and effectively deal with it, then there's that, you know. So he brings out Urshi in Sin. Definitely a good play. Because, um... Because what? Because, I mean, like, I can fake out their Sin, But then they pretty much just get a free... A free close combat into stack attacko, which we already saw does, like, fat damage. So... Okay, I for why did I why did I think that my fake out was faster than his? Because I was using it in Trick Room, I guess. Like that's really the only reason, I guess. Um. So yeah, I mean we're already off to a bad start. We're already off to a bad start. Switch in... There you go. Make sure I do the right things. Um... I potentially should have done the opposite switch. But it's not like I had that much time. Um, his team is definitely hard for me to deal with, I'll be honest. But if I'm lucky, he'll like, you know, parting shot the my Incineroar or something, you know what I mean? Like, he does use Surging Strikes into the Incin slot, which is what I wanted. I would have actually really liked to do that the other way. 
But we we did avoid taking too much damage, which I mean that's nice. So, yeah, that's, that's, you know, not a bad play, definitely. I mean, I'm gonna lose this, let's be honest, like, I'm gonna lose this. So, I thought about bringing... I thought about bringing I thought about bringing Sableye in order to be able to taunt his Urshifu and his, um, it's okay. to be able to taunt Urshifu and Xerneas, but, you know, I didn't, and, yeah, I mean, how am I supposed to win with that, too? Like, that doesn't even give me a chance, my guy. so bad like how, how are they gonna do that to me they straight up were like yeah you know what we're gonna do we're gonna make you miss <laughs> that's press blades but I would really like to be able to have Incineroar and Groudon on the field at the same time um, I definitely don't. And I think it really comes down to who do we expect them to target right now. I think if you're them, you have a pretty safe, just like, Moonblast into Insin. And, um... And Earth Surging Strikes. I mean, there's, there's really no reason not to. They do just go straight for it, which means I actually could have faked out, and that's not good. Because I should have faked out, but I didn't. We do actually survive with both of our people. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god, like... Do we really have to? That's all I'm saying. Like, do we freaking have to? It's so stupid. You know, it could have been Bye Bye Xerneas, but instead, it's let's try to deal with our lives right now. Like, That's annoying.
that does so much. Yeah, so I mean, I lose. I lose. I actually could have protected that turn, but it wouldn't have gotten me that far. Um, I mean, I- god damn, like, how are you gonna just make me miss two Precipice Blades on the Xerneas? Like, obviously I'm gonna lose if that happens. What do you, like, what do you think this is? <laughs> My god. That was just dumb, honestly. Like, that just, like, it just hurts my brain to, to have to deal with stuff like that. Like, oh, you mean you purposefully want me to lose, do you? Like, Jesus Christ. Um, because if I had hit literally one of those precipice blades, I would have actually been in an okay position. Not a perfect position. No one's calling that position perfect. But what they are saying is that was, you know, that pretty much just screwed the whole thing over no matter what. Like, because what I could have done is, you know, I could have set up Trick Room again if I needed to. Um, but they did have Insane in the back, which means, you know, they would have been able to get off one more Intimidate. And they would have been able to get off... Um, I don't know, that just was so dumb, like, that was just so stupid, like, how, what am I supposed to do about that? Okay, um, yeah, I mean, So yeah, that was Jay Snores. Uh, Jay Snores, again, is somebody that we do know from our channel. Um, so, you know, what up, though? Ah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what, what would have been the difference? Like, I would be able to... I would have had the chance to press this blades and rock slide at the same time, which, you know, Entei and, Entei and Insin definitely don't appreciate, but like, dude, it's 85% chance, like, do you really have to miss, like, that much? Ay, 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 man.
Sorry, um, Alton, I did not see, I did not see that you were in the chat, because I can't see the chat, um, when I'm, when I'm live on YouTube, it's, it's, like, it's different. Um, but yeah, good to see you. Um, so let's see, I have other teams that are not that good, that I could try out today. Um, the second half of this month it was supposed to be dedicated to fun teams which i mean if it's a fun team you really aren't guaranteeing that you're gonna win anything so like you know we might be seeing some more some more losses um while we are preparing for while we're just waiting for the next round of matches honestly so i'm playing in another tournament right now um i'm playing in a tournament called the Desafio Latum, which I was posting matches from last week. But they they do it like once a week or once every other week. So, you know, because I did like pay to sign up for it, I figured I would, you know, actually play again this weekend. Um it's a really long tournament. It's like it's like hours. Um, so that's the one thing that kind of sucks about it. The one thing that doesn't suck is that it's early. So, like, I can still try to, um, you know, get the things done that I need to get done later in the day and not really worry about it. So that's nice, you know. Um, so I can use my Lotto team or I can use Simple Jack. The Simple Jack team is really rough, honestly. Um, that being said, I, you know, it's really right now, it's between this team and this team. So, if you got any, any suggestions, um, you know, feel free to let me know. But yeah, it's going well. It's going well. So, thanks for tuning in. I'm doing well. Um, that didn't go well. <laughs> or sorry, no, it was, it's not, um, I forget who, who is tuned in, but I think Alton, and what up though? Either that or Anson, I don't remember. So let's see, what do I want to use? What do I want to use? We, let's just use Simple Jack in order to pay homage to my opponent rocking me with Xerneas. But this team doesn't work well on High Ladder. It really doesn't. Hurricane, Slurricane, Hurricane, bunch of Hurricane. So I could start like Entei Moltres against this with Indeedy Xerneas in the back. Um I could potentially just go straight for the Xerneas. I think that wouldn't be like the worst thing in the world, honestly. Um So maybe we'll just go straight for Indeedy Xerneas. Try to get our boys set up with Entei and Moltres in the back. Do we actually really want that though? Um, 
maybe we bring Entei, drop Moltres, and bring Choice Scarf. I think the one bad thing about doing that is that, you know, like, in, um, Calyrex is a big threat, obviously, and, like, if I don't bring something that can hard wall Calyrex, I'm gonna be in a pretty bad position. So, what do I actually expect them to do right now? I really wouldn't be surprised if they... If they have Helping Hand, actually. Um, if they have Helping Hand, that's, you know, that's a little bit scary for me. But I also have Helping Hand. So... Am I, do I really have a reason to click follow me right now? I think that's the question. Um, I'm gonna say yes, I do. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to switch in, I could really switch in either at this point, I mean I'm not at like that big of a disbenefit, I'm really not at like a disbenefit at all, um, I think I'm going to just try to I mean, the problem is if they fake out, right? So, like, I want to protect this turn being safe. I have the nafty for safety, as they say. Ooh, wow, that's really bad. Glad that I did that because that could have just lost me the game straight up. Um, let's just go for this. Because, you know, I don't want to get encored. <laughs> Because I don't want to get encored. They've got the as boys ability. So I actually would have gotten more out of that's damage. That's damage. Send the Rillabong back out. It's your destiny. I 
I did not expect that. I definitely did not expect that. Okay, so the thing I'm worried about is if Thunderous actually does get Encore. I don't know if it does, but like, I don't want to find out. This isn't going to do that much. Because I used Geomancy. <laughs> so yeah, I mean Xerneas is scary. You know, Xerneas is a is a very scary Pokemon. There's no lying about that. Top 1000, but we did hit as boys. So let me check. Um, most people are. Hey, Giga's in. Giga, Giga. Giga. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go check on the boy. I wanna see what Team Gig is using. I can't check. It does look like pretty much everybody is ready to move on to the next round, though. So, I wonder what we're waiting for. Oh, okay, no, there's one, there's one group of people that are still playing. Okay, that's fine, that's fine with me. Um, I'm probably just gonna wait for the next round to start instead of, you know, instead of playing another match. So if you have questions, I am here. <laughs> I'm here. If anybody wants to ask me random stuff. But yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna wait for the next round to start. I mean, like, something I can do is I can play a casual battle right now. Because I don't really feel like playing a, a ranked match. Let's 
Let's use... <laughs> Let's use Trick Room Kyogre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that... I saw that you... You also lost your first round. Um, yeah, we got this, bro. We got this. Um, I was actually facing Jay Snores in my first round. If... I don't know if you know Jay Snores, but... He's kind of just a fellow around the community. Um, he is, I think, subscribed to my channel, actually. Um, but we got some pretty rough hacks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, we we missed two Precipice Blades in a row into Xerneas. <laughs> I was like, I was like, no, no. Um, okay, so I mean, they definitely have a team that's gonna make this hard for me. It's not going to be impossible to, but they have a cool team. They definitely have a cool team. It's not going to be impossible to, but it is going to be something. Let's Dynamax Serena. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean having Iron Ball Kyogre is not amazing here, there's that. Um I could start Mimikyu Serena with Kyogre in the back. And I might just bring Pinkerchin, I'll be dead honest, like I might just have to mess around and bring Pinkerchin. Yours was really close. Um, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, I felt like mine was close as well. Um, <laughs> but like, I missed two Precipus Blades, and I was like, well, now it's not close. Um, but you know, that's what happens when you use, when you use the boys. So I'm going to max Hailstorm the first turn and just set up the room of which is a trick. It might not be a good play, I'll be honest, it might not be a good play. Um wait, why would I do that? Yeah, this is that was just not a good play. Me not making good plays. Um, I mean whatever, that's why we're playing a casual match right now. Like you know, it's, the world's not perfect. They are faster with whatever they do, so we do have that going for us. Um, they might have Dynamaxed Thunderous, they don't. <laughs> I'm really Dynamaxing Serena right now. <laughs> Go, Serena! Do your business. Do your worst. Do your best. Make it happen. Okay. Max Resonance does a lot. It does a lot. It does a lot. They have Life Orb. That kind of makes more sense. Ooh, that's like just in range for actually knocking them out. We do have Shadow Sneaks, so I mean, like, we got that going for us, I guess. And I brought Pinkerchin, right? So I mean, like, I will Rising Voltage your Lapras. Don't think I won't. 
my guy. My Jerry Von Dudinsky. Um, so yeah, we Shadow Sneak and we, we, you know. I will Rising Voltage you. Don't think I won't. Because I will. For this round to start. That's not no damage. That's certainly not no damage. They go for the resonance again. I'll be honest, I mean this this life orb lapras is definitely causing problems. Definitely causing problems. But is the life orb going to be your downfall? Because they have saucy and big strong, big strong energy. So we rise in voltage and we willow. We will a wisp into them. We will a wisp. I will a wisp to happen. Big, big strong. <laughs> big strong. All right, all right, Mimikyu, you got this. No, no, now I lose. Now I lose. Jesus Christ. <sighs> The world is unfair. <laughs> okay, round two. Round two is ready. Round two is ready. Who are we facing? We're facing Phil. We're facing Phil, 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 Nye, the science guy. Phil, Nye, the science guy. Phil, 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 Phil. Um. I think it's going to be better to go for the rising voltage in the water spout this turn. I mean, they should just double protect. That's, you know, that's definitely what I would do if I was them. Mr. Phil Nye, the science guy. The science guy, you just got caught. <laughs> My guy, well, did, did, didn't you think you should protect? You didn't think, you didn't think if you had protect, you should click it. Maybe they didn't have protect. You know, you never know with these with these public matches. Um, okay. Um, 
um, two one oh one 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 one. Honestly, though, like, I wouldn't mind getting knocked out of this early because, like, you know, I do have a life to deal with. Like, I can't just play Pokemon all the time. Um, so I mean, like, yeah, we're gonna try. But, like, if I get knocked out, that's just what it is. He has Zacian, Insin, Amoongus, Monkey, um, Urshifu, and Grimmsnarl. Okay, okay, this is gonna be difficult, I'm not gonna lie. He's got the monk. <sighs> okay. So I gotta I gotta switch things up here. I might just start melodic stack attacka with Serena in the back. And Groudonius, Anglesmith, Fancy Man of Cornwood. Um, what's the bad thing about doing that? The bad thing is that if they bring a Moongus, it'll be in a very good position. So, like, setting up Trick Room is kind of disadvantageous in some degree. Um... Yeah, setting up Trick Room is not going to be perfect here. So, what? I mean, I could start, like, like in Sin Melodic. Um, that doesn't really feel that much better, if you ask me. Let's just try it out. Let's just feel, the, feel things out. And if we get our butt whoops, I mean, like, that's life. Check. Okay, so they do have wood hammer, which is pretty bad for me. I don't have recover on melodic. I don't have protect on melodic. So I mean like really the only thing I can do right now is withdraw melodic which I don't like necessarily want to do but it's kind of what I have to do and then I mean I could set up trick room I kind of don't want to at this point so And the reason why I don't want to is because... Okay, why would you do that? So they would've just... They would've just let me, like, destroy them. They should have Sash Urshifu, which makes this a lot more difficult. Um, but this is bad. This is pretty bad, honestly. Like, 
That does way too much. That does way too much. And I think this is the bad thing about running about running a defense lowered stack a, stack attacker because like defense lowered stack attacker just doesn't handle this type of stuff like so what I mean like yeah I pretty much just lose honestly like it's it's you know it's unfortunate but it's kind of just like you know we're already not in a good position Because all I can really do is protect here. Well, yeah, it's this sucks, honestly, this sucks a lot. And they make the right play, too. <sighs> man, oh man, oh man. And they make the right play. I mean, I can pretty much guarantee you that I'm going to lose this. It's not over yet, but like... I mean, my guy. My guy. I played this really bad, I'm gonna be honest. Because I mean, like, I really only have one choice here, and that choice is to lose. <sighs> yeah.
so I don't feel like I really figured out how to play the team I'm using very well. Like, it's, it's definitely a team, nobody's lying about that. But it's just, I'm not playing the team the way that it needs to be played. And because of that, I will lose. Not to mention, they still have Rillaboom in the back somewhere. So, I actually thought about using Choice Scarf Groudon. Um, and that would have been a lot better at this point. Like, Choice Scarf Groudon would have actually come, in, come quite in clutch. But, you know, we, we can't really, we can't win this. So yeah. So yeah. Why did he? Two, one, zero, one, 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 one. The battle begin. So, I mean, I don't see this going better, let's be honest. Like, I really don't. Um. I can try doing the same thing, but this time. This time I switch the opposite person out, which... Oh, 
Um, so because of the adjustment that he made, I'm pretty much just gonna straight up lose. There's really not much I can do about it. Um, Because what, like, I mean, like, I can try bringing Serena back out and going for Trick Room, it's just not, it's just not gonna work is the problem, like, it's really my only play right now, but, um, yeah. Because he should, he should double up the, exactly, yeah, like, why, why would you, why would you ever not do that, which is exactly why I'm gonna lose, so, fun, I mean, like, to be fair, I could have actually, like, literally known that he was gonna do that, and clicked Icy Wind, but, like, I didn't, so that's my life, and I'll have to deal with it. To be fair, um, yeah, yeah, so like the the team that I'm using is 100% not good for this. Like, there's really nothing else to say about it except that. Like, the team I'm using just, it's just literally not good for this. And what, like, what? What? Oh my god, why? Alright, so, like, let's be frank about something. Apparently, everybody has caught on to the idea that they need to run a fast Rillaboom. Because that should not happen. They 100% should not be faster than Groudon. Um... But what we're seeing is that people are on purpose running a fast Rillaboom in order to do that. Which, like, yeah, Rillaboom is not supposed to be that fast. That's, that's the problem.
I'll just I'll just give him the satisfaction of picking up the Narco. So yes, he has speed investment, um, he has speed investment, which means, you know, he's, he's got me, he's got me pinned, he's got me pinned. Um, so nothing I can do about that, you know, GG's. Um, this, I mean, like, I thought the Groudon team would be fun to use in this, it's not working, like, it's not working at all um but i mean like you know what can i really say like if i get knocked out early then i don't have to play anymore so <laughs> that's kind of how i feel about it at this point like i uh i kind of want to just not play today because i have to like do other stuff so I could have just not played at all, but, you know, we, we're playing. Okay, okay, it's another Dem Boys team. I'm gonna say I actually do want to bring Mole Trace this time. Oh, but it's it's not perfect. I mean, I'll be honest, like it's definitely not perfect. Especially considering that they have Crobat, and Crobat actually is like kind of scary for Xerneas a little bit because I mean it's a physical attacker it gets cross poison so Crobat could actually almost like single handedly deal with um, Xerneas which is not great so we're really gonna have to see what they lead I'll be honest Elite Insane Crobat, right? So, what do I expect them to do on turn one, I think is the question. I think it's still probably the safest thing to do for me to click Geomancy and follow me. Um, I kinda wanna just click Expanding Force and Geomancy. It could be a bad play, let's be honest. But, you know, we're gonna try it because I expect them to Tailwind kill. And they might click Roar. I mean, Roar would be a little bit annoying, and it kind of looks like they might click Roar. So 
So if they have Roar that's really good tech, I mean, it it does get Roar. They click Darkest Lariat. We've got him pinned a little bit. We've got him pinned. They bring out the Cali Stonks. So what I should want to do here is just click Dazzling Gleam and Helping Hand. There's no guarantee that it'll work, but I think we're in a pretty decent position. Nobody protects, that's really good. They could expanding force. It actually does a lot, honestly. So I really need to bank on this picking up the KO. At least on on Calyrex. So it I mean we get that. And if they don't knock me out with Flare Blitz, we'll be in a pretty good position. Right, 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 right. So, I think at this point I'm going to bring out Entei. I kind of forget what their team was. They bring out Lele, right? Um, I don't remember if I'm faster than Lele, so I might just click Protect, and it can miss, it can miss, that's, that's, you know, that's one of the problems. But how many turns of Tailwind do they have left? Okay, they have two turns of Tailwind. I'm gonna definitely protect here. And try to Stone Edge. Interesting. So, I mean, that was a really good play on their part. There's no lying about that. Um, I'm going to Moonblast and Sacred Fire. Okay, we are faster. And we pretty much just pick up a KO. Nice, 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 nice. Um, when does the stream end? The stream ends when I get my butt kicked. So, <laughs> um, the stream ends when I lose three rounds in a row. If I lose three rounds in a row, um, that's pretty much when I'm gonna end the stream. Cause what we're really just, I have to like. If you lose, what am I trying to say? 
if you lose three rounds in this tournament, you're out. And I'm, you know, I already lost two. This isn't really looking great for me. Um, they should have had Focus Sash on Crobat. I mean, that's, that's really the thing that hurt them, if you ask me. Like, they needed Focus Sash Crobat. They don't have a fast Tapu Lele, so that also worked in my benefit. Um, it should be faster than that, shouldn't it? Like, I thought Tapu Lele with max speed nature, max speed um, investment was like... They, they must not have IV trained their Pokemon, because... It should not be 147 it, with with max speed and speed nature. Like, um, it should be maybe not faster than Xerneas, but definitely not that slow. So let's check it. Okay, so yeah, it, it wouldn't be faster than Xerneas, like I said, but they don't have their Pokemon IV trained. Which means they might have like, like 5 IVs on speed instead of like 31. So that's not good for them. Um, let me check if Xerneas would have actually been faster. Yeah, so Xerneas was going to be faster anyways. We do have that going for us, which is nice. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to check the rest of their team. Whatever. What we are going to do though is we're going to be in the top 1,000 right now. So, we can celebrate that. Yay! 889 triple digits with the Xerneas team. <laughs> eh, it feels good. It feels good. No one's going to say it doesn't. Triple digits. Triple digits. But, yeah, I mean, I do want to end it soon. I kind of just, um, I'm basically just waiting for, I have to lose three matches. And if I lose three matches, it's over. Um, don't feel like you got to stick around. I mean, like, I appreciate you being here, you know, but, um, you know, we're, this tournament is the tournament that I'm in. I need to lose three best of threes in order to get kicked out of the tournament. And, you know, we're definitely like getting there. Um, we have to lose one more and then we're out. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We hit 889 in the world, for now, for now. So out of everyone who's playing Sword and Shield, we are number 889 in the world. Um, so triple digits, triple digit boys. But uh, there's a really good chance I'm gonna lose my next best of three, meaning that, you know, the stream will be over pretty soon, honestly. Let's use the lotto team. <laughs> it's a lotto. It's a lotto. Yay! And we can actually do the lotto setup here. So, lotto, lotto. We can do the lotto setup. Um, Rotom's actually pretty good here. Rotom is not bad here at all. Rillaboom's not bad here. Um, but Rotom is looking pretty dang fine. So we're gonna bring Rotom.
they're definitely thinking, you know, they're like, what do I do, what do I do? Excelgor in DD. Okay, so what's the bad thing here? The bad thing is that they could set up Trick Room. Um, and if they set up Trick Room... If they set up Trick Room, that could actually be pretty bad. So, what? I could click Dark Pulse and skitter smack but the problem with that is that it ruins my setup um i don't want them to click trick room though which let's be honest like they might they definitely might they either click trick room or ally switch So they actually just straight go for it, which isn't great for me, I'll be honest, but like... So I overread what they were gonna do, and that's gonna cost me pretty heavily. The one good thing is that, you know, is still alive, and I can... Bring out my boy. They bring out Groudonius, Anglesmith, Fancy Man of Cornwood. And we don't have Ice Beam, which does suck a little bit. Um, but I think the safest or the right play here is to actually target the Groudon. Um, yeah, yeah, we gotta target the Groudon. They might protect Groudon this turn. Um, I don't think it would be an amazing play on their part, but, I mean, they would definitely get around what I'm trying to do. So, they might not be playing for Series uh, 11, like based on the fact that they didn't Dynamax, they might be playing in a way that is to expect Series 10, but I mean like, you know, we're trying to get ready for Series 10 or 11 here, but like, you know, that's, that's my thought process on this. Um... Spirit Shackle, Shadow Sneak, I might just click Shadow Sneak and just, you know, try to get rid of their Sash. Let's see if, the, if my next opponent is ready. They are gonna Dynamax, which I, you know, they definitely should at this point. Um, Dynamax Nidip Queen is not gonna really do a lot. Uh, oh right, that was dumb. That was that was really dumb. But I wasn't gonna get much more out of it, so you know. 
We're fine, we're fine. Bulky, they're bulky. That's a bulky boy. They do have max flare. And life orb. I think I can just go for max airstream and click overheat, honestly. Like, if they have protect, they should definitely click it. Um, with Nitto Queen, that is. But how do you beat Rotom, my guy? How do you beat Rotom? How dost thou beat my Rotom? I mean, bro, like, you already saw that Lugia is faster. Yo. <laughs> yes, yes, it's it's the it's the one they call Mr. Clark. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um okay, I mean we're gonna win. We're gonna win. My opponent was definitely playing as though they did not expect Dynamax. So I mean I feel a little bit bad for that. Because, like, if they didn't want to play a Dynamax format, you know, I did. Critical hit. So you guys are getting it all in this one. You're getting... You're getting Series 11 content, you're getting me getting to top 1000 with Simple Xerneas, even though we didn't actually use Simple Xerneas. Um, you're getting it all, my dudes. We're still waiting for... Rosalia to, to finish. Rosalia is actually subscribed to my channel too. Um, which is pretty cool. Maxwell. Okay. So this time I'm definitely starting Italian Decidui. Um, with really bangles, or I mean Rotom in the back. And and <laughs> um yeah, I mean, why not bring Lugia, right? Like, Lugia is my dudus. Lugia is my dudus. <laughs> Me using my Series 10 team as in a Series 11 team. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I don't know why they're using. We all got starters like that. He's yeah. He has like four starters on his team. Um, I'm using starters. I have three starters on my team. I'm using starters because this is my Lotto Challenge team. So I built this team. I built this team with. Um, you know, getting my Pokemon from the Rotom lottery. And so I had a pretty limited amount of people to choose from. Oh my god. And he has a... The Discord. He has a The Discord Pokemon. So... What's the dis-benefit here? 
um, to just benefit to the, the Discord is that I can't actually deal with Rillaboom. So what I can do is I can switch in Lugia and just go straight for Shadow Sneak. So they do just Grassy Glib. They just straight Flare Blitz, you mans. They just straight Flare Blitz, you mans. Um... So what? Jesus. So they're kind of playing as though they want to play Series 10, which, like, you know, all things considered, it would be a little bit rude of me to just, like, jump the gun and be like, let's, let's play Series 11, but, like, um, you know, I'll give them a chance, I guess, and if they Dynamax, that's, you know, that's their play. I'll give them a chance. But if they Dynamax, there's not really anything I can do about that. They don't Dynamax. We take them out. They, they probably were going to use, like, Knock Off or something. Quick shot, got got quick shot. They've got a strong fish. Okay, so you might call it a little rude of me but I'm gonna Dynamax because I'm trying to prepare for series 11 and they could Dynamax as well so like if they were to Dynamax that wouldn't be good for me um so I'm just gonna Dynamax They do be calling me that. Yes, you are right. <laughs> they do be calling me that. They do Dynamax, you see? I called it. I called it. And you thought I was just gonna let you. No, sir. No, sir. Not in this town. <laughs> Not in this town, my guy. Strong fish. They were like, watch this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Dynamax, and he's gonna, he's gonna take one. And I was like, hmm, but what if I Dynamax? Strong fish. Yeah, it's a good name. It's a it's a good name. 
They could have named it Stingfish, like you said. <laughs> Why not name it Stingfish? Uh, it would have been funny. Okay, um... Let's, let's, let's mix a little bit of everything into this. So, while I'm waiting for my next opponent to be ready, hopefully my next opponent beats me so I can stop the stream. Because, I mean, at this point, you know, I'm kind of just like, you know, we've had enough. Um, I'm gonna shiny hunt for a little bit. Because we've been streaming for two hours here. We've had enough. I got stuff to do. Like, grading your papers. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully we, we lose pretty quickly, honestly, because, you know, I do have stuff to do, and, I mean, I don't really know why I, like, act like Pokemon as a commitment sometimes, because it's really not, like, I don't have to play the Desafio Lottom just because I signed up for it, but, like, we are playing it. There's the Maractuses. So this is actually the one that I'm shiny hunting right now. I'm shiny hunting Maractus. So let's take out something. Controllers, could you just not, like... All my Pokemon are shiny. Which means that we have to watch the extra animation. That's fine, though. That's fine, I guess. We could send out Boltoned. Who is not shiny. Come on, guys. Finish your matches so that I can lose my next match. Lose or win, whatever you choose. Just try your hardest. Um, okay, so there's like there's only like two people that are still playing their matches, which means we should be on to um we should be on to our next round pretty soon. Looks like Rafa's doing pretty good. Um, I've said before, I'm, I'm really not a big fan of Rafa anymore, like, I liked Rafa's channel in the first place because he used Pikachu and I used Pikachu, and it was like, hey, look, we're both using Pikachu, um, but then, like, he literally just flexes his muscles in, like, every single thumbnail, and I'm like, my guy, like, I don't need to see how full of yourself you are, like, you might think it attracts viewers, but I don't give a crap about it, like, <laughs> not like I'm the, uh, you know, only person that watches the channel, so, there's others. There's others. Wasn't that Gyarados at first? Um... I don't know what you mean. I mean, it definitely was a Gyarados. But... I don't know what you mean at first. That's not the one I wanted.
I do think if that last opponent had actually Dynamaxed Charizard right away, they would have been in a pretty good position. They just, you know, they, they didn't, so. We both tried to play Series 10 for a few minutes until it got rough. And then we were like, Series 11, go, 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 Dynamax. Dang it, controllers. Why would you do that to me? Yeah, so... My controller made me click the wrong move. There you go. Is our next round ready? It is the strong fish. It is the strong fish. I, I like Stingfish. We'll, we'll call him the Stingfish like you said the first time. <laughs> uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, people. Finish your match. Finish your match so I can lose my next match and then I can turn off the stream. But if I win the next match, then I have to keep going. Which is not amazing, I'll be honest. Like... I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, Sir Boozle, I don't know if you're still here. But we can look at who all's in the tournament. Um, I get the feeling that it's still just us. So... Yeah, it's just us. So, like, not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna trip about it, you know? We got one more group of people that we gotta wait to finish. But hopefully, my next opponent has a good team and they beat me. Not, not that I, you know, necessarily want to lose, I'm still gonna try to win. But, you know. You know... I got stuff to do. It is not this. What I'm gonna do is... I'm going to start only looking for the Brilliant Aura Maractus. And then I'm just going to avoid all the ones that aren't Brilliant Aura. Because, I mean, technically anyone could be shiny. And that's kind of like the reason why I'm battling all of them. But the Brilliant Aura ones are the ones that you really want to look for. Hey, look at Drill Bear. Okay, cool. My opponent's- my next opponent is ready. We're good. We're- 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 we're doing it. We're doing it.
the Sir Sir pick. They have a they have a Rayquaza team. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Zero three zero seven zero three zero seven. All right, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. And if I lose, whatever, because I got stuff to do. But I'm not. I'm gonna try not to lose. I try my hardest, Sir Boozle, you know, I, I try my hardest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um... Oh, I accidentally got into a battle. Oopsie. Um, yes, it is one of my students in one form of or another. Um... Zero three zero seven zero three zero seven. Give me a shame. So sometimes if you search at an off moment and then you start doing other things, you won't actually match up with the person. So I might have to research. Oh, there's so many Pokemon around. Get away. Hopefully we find them. Zero three zero seven zero three zero seven. So I gave him a code this time. We'll try my code. Um, zero, zero, 
Uno, do, tre, quattro, cinco, sei. See, I gave myself enough time this time to actually get up to six. <laughs> I thought it out. I thought it out. Awesome. I like, you know, I like the 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 cut spot on this guy. You know, he's actually using a Groudon team. Or I mean a Rayquaza team. So I he's got he's got Badoos. He's got the Badoos. So good for him, you know. Good for him. What do I think is going to be my best lead here? <sighs> so, what is, what's my disbenefit with this team? Um, my disbenefit is that... Stack attacka doesn't really work. Like, every time I try to set up stack attacka, my opponent just does exactly what they need to do to get around it. So, stack attacka hasn't really been doing anything, unfortunately. And I think, if anything, that's what's, you know, really harming me here. What else is gonna harm me here? Um, I don't have a good switch in. So that's, you know, pretty bad. They should switch in... They should switch in Serena. Yeah, okay. Okay. They switch in Serena, yep. I'm just glad that they switched out Landorus. Because Landorus is the one that was causing me problems. So they Wicked Blow, does a lot of damage, I was like what do you mean it's a crit, <laughs> what do you mean it's a crit? That's rude, you would get a crit. Um, so now we just Flare Blitz, and I honestly might just let Melodic go down. I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, super psyched about doing that, but at this point, I think it's what I got to do. Not, not Ultra Psyched, you know. I think the problem is that, like, their team pretty much just, like, beats my team on merit and, like, doesn't really need to do that much more. Like, their team kind of just straight up beats my team. Because, like, I can send out Groudon right now. They just bring Landorus back out, and if they double up Groudon, they will get the KO. So let's try switching Serena in and I think the question is do I want to heat crash or do I want to press this blades and who do I want to do it into? Landorus is actually a pretty big problem for my team right now. That being said, I think if I heat crash the Urshifu, I should be in a kind of good position. 
Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Because they should have Rayquaza. And Rayquaza puts me in a really rough position. I could do that. I think I'm gonna protect this turn and click Heat Crash. Hoping that they double up the Serena. But I mean like, I'm technically winning. I'm technically winning right now. Because they do that. <laughs> so I'm going to switch in sin in. And I'm actually going to use a substitute of my own. It doesn't, it doesn't KO, it just doesn't. <laughs> Look at, I love how it, I love how it goes, it like tries to size them up, and it's like, it's like, look, we actually have a, a, a big boy. I can't really do a lot. That's the thing that sucks. Like, there's really not much I can do in this position except for just lose. Because... That does a lot. That does a lot. So I think the question is, who do I go after? And I feel like I just double up the Landorus right now. I mean, it's, you know, it's probably not gonna work. Yeah, yeah. So, one Dragon Ascent should just take care of me. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I was in a winning position. Um. Yeah, Triple Axel would have killed, but I didn't really have a good chance to use Triple Axel. Um. But, yeah, I. I can't see the chat when I'm doing this. So. Like, you can see the chat when you're on Twitch, but when you're on YouTube, you have to go, you have to switch back and forth between the, 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 the screens in order to actually see the chat. So here I'm going to start Instant Saka, Instant Saka Taka in the backa with, I think Melodic would actually be pretty good here over Serena. The only thing is, if I get Trick Room up, Serena can pretty much just destroy their whole team. So maybe we do try that. Maybe we do try that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, I could technically, like, I could, I guess, try to, like, look at the comments on my phone or something. So I have a lot of investment actually in the power of my Incineroar. So I should pick up a one hit KO very comfortably with Flare Blitz. And I don't, ooh, they actually probably have high jump kick. So if they have high jump kick, um, you know, that would be pretty bad for me. Oh, they just click Helping Hand. I don't actually think they'll get the K. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Okay, I get it. I get it now. Never mind. <laughs> I get it. Because that almost just straight knocked me out. Let's see if they have Sucker Punch. But their choice banded. Okay, so they can't do anything about that. They bring out the Lando Dringus. And I'm gonna say we actually go after Lando Dringus this turn. Um, because we don't really want it to be able to set up. They might... Okay, so I actually need to be really careful here. I need to be careful. And this, the play I made is not careful. It is careless. So they might be figuring all the numbers, thinking to themselves, what do I do, what do I do? They don't protect, that's what I needed. Okay, their Serena actually does not have a high jump kick. So we're in a pretty good position here, honestly. Um, I'm just gonna triple axle and flare blitz. Ooh, 
Ooh. That sucks for them. Not much they can do about this position. Sir Boosel is a fellow content creator of mine. Uh, good sir. Good sir, as we say. So, I mean, I'll try, you know, I'll try to do the same thing. Uh, we definitely bring Serena. And, honestly, like, I might not even bring Groudon. And I might just bring Melodic in the back. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, you know, no one's saying it's perfect. But what we are saying is we're gonna try. You know what I mean? Um, what's the adjustment that they could make in order to get around what I'm doing? I think if they leave... Yup, Lander is Serena. Yup, 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 yup. That's the exact adjustment they needed to make. That's the exact adjustment they needed. So I'm going to Flare Blitz their Serena, and I'm going to Protect. Oh my god. Don't flex on me, bro. Don't flex on me. Okay, I lose. I lose. <laughs> so, he actually called what I was going to do. And because of that, I will lose. It's not great. No one's saying it's great. Um, but we are going to lose now. just because he actually called what I was going to do. Yeah, that was that was a massive flex. So like he just straight called that I was going to protect Stack Attacker. And I mean, I did. So, you know. Let's see. He might just sludge bomb the Serena this turn. He does Earth Power, so yeah. The problem is that I can't win. Because he sends out Rayquaza. Like, all I can do here is protect and Icy Wind. 
the problem is if he actually calls it, then I lose. And like, I mean, he's, you know, he's playing well enough. So, you know, we're just gonna have to see. Yep, yep, he calls it, so I lose. He calls it, so I lose. Very well played, you know. He's he played that very well. Uh oh. But wait, there's hope. So he does have Urshifu. I can't I can't beat Urshifu is the thing. Like I can high jump kick and that's really all I can do. But my guy straight flex on me. Yeah, so GG's, GG's to him. Um, so we are out of here. We lose. We're out of the tourney. <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean, like, the biggest problem that I've been having in this tournament, like, not only this time, but last time, is actually thinking of a good lead, or I mean, thinking of a good team to use. Like, sure, I made it to round 7 with my, with my Trick Room Kyogre team, but like, I had to play ridiculously well, and, um... You know, like, that just didn't work, but we lose. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, y'all. And, um, you know, whatever, whatever happens next is what happens next, you know? So, peace out.